guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to show you guys how you can use godaddy and get a domain name build your website and also run some exciting marketing campaigns so let's get into it to get started you can type the domain name you want so let's take an example that we are running an ice cream store and i need a domain name for that so i'm just going to type in a keyword or a name of my store so for example my store's name is just ice cream so i want a domain name that says icecream.com so i'll type that in here and i'll hit search domain so next godaddy is gonna pull out all the domain names that are currently available on the internet so as you can see icecream.com is not available uh, but if you are still interested in getting it you can take advantage of their broker service fee which is 69.99 dollars so essentially you're going to hire a broker they're going to reach out to the company that has access to this domain and they're going to negotiate to see if there is any work away around it other than that uh, we also have some few more options on the bottom of the screen so these are all the domains that are available right now and you can also see the prices of the domain next to it so for example we have this domain known as ice cream dot online so it's a premium domain and if i click it you're gonna see why it's premium first of all it uses that dot com extension which is quite popular and of course you want your business to look more credible so anytime you're getting that dot com extension it just looks good on your overall website and for your business as well and the price is 699.99 dollars for the first year we also have some other options over here so for example we have icecreamglobal.com and the price is 0.01 dollar for the first year with a two-year registration now let's say i don't like any of these recommendations because they just to apply to my business so you can always go in and search for another keyword that closely matches to what you're looking for so i'm gonna type ice cream dot shop and i'll click search and even that one is not available but we do have a really good alternative over here which is ice creams dot shop and it is 1.99 dollars for the first year i'm gonna click make it yours and i'll click continue Next, uh, GoDaddy is going to offer you a bunch of protection packages that you can explore if you are interested in it. So take a look, browse around. And other than that, you can also add a Microsoft Office uh, email through GoDaddy. So for example, we are purchasing a domain called icecreams.shop. And let's say somebody wants to send an email to us. So we'll have a custom email that is something like our name. So it could be you know maybe george at icecreams.shop or maybe uh, contact at icecreams.shop so it looks more professional as well so if you want to take advantage of any of these packages that they have you can select them and go through the features to see what fits your needs and if you don't want a professional email at all you can just click this one over here I'm going to click Microsoft 365 Email Essentials, which has 10 GB of storage, which is available for $2.99 per month. And I'll click Continue to Cart. All right, so next you're going to come to this cash out section so you can see the prices over here. For one year, we are getting this domain for $2.71. Uh, we are also getting a full domain protection for one year, which is $9.99. Um, you also get access to their free website building tool so you can take advantage of this and start setting up your online shop. And then we have the Microsoft 365 email essentials. So basically, we are getting our custom email as well for $35.88. You can see the order summary over here and it is coming down to 48.58 dollars and i can click i'm ready to pay all right so next we come to the cash out page so you're going to enter your payment information and congratulations you officially bought a domain through godaddy so once you have your domain set up the next thing you would want to do is establish your website so i am gonna click start for free and we will start designing our website on godaddy so i'm gonna choose a category over here so we are creating an ice cream shop so i'll click food food service i'll click next what should we call your site um i'll click ice cream all right so now we have this interface and we can go in start editing and building our website but before that i want to show you guys the website templates feature where you can get access to multiple pre-designed templates and use it and customize it based on your needs so i'm gonna go over here and select for a category i'll select restaurant and food 
and over here you're gonna see these beautiful templates that have been pre-designed for us so i'll click this one over here and i can click start editing okay so this is the template we have and we want to change it customize it based on what we are looking for but first thing first we have site navigation tab over here so this is what you're going to use if you want to add another page for example if you want to add an about us page you can click the plus icon and add the title over here that says about us and if you want to show this page in the navigation you can select this if you want this to be shown in the footer as well which is the bottom section over here you can select that and i'll click create page there you go we have our second page ready to go if you want to add a shop now page or maybe a contact us page similarly you can use this feature on the top right corner click the plus icon and play around with it i'm gonna go back to my home screen for now and i will click themes so themes is where you get access to different design tools so things like colors font style buttons you can play around over here and we have the settings tool over here where you can make changes to other basic features on the website such as your social media links your favicon um, your facebook pixel analytics tool and a lot of other fun stuff so first thing i want to do is of course change this picture because it's a picture of donuts and we are selling ice cream so i'll click over here cover media and i will click change image and as you can see you can either upload your picture on this section or you can take advantage of the stock media options that godaddy provides i'll take a look at the stock media to see if there is anything i like i can also type in a keyword over here and search for a particular picture so we have these really pretty pictures that we can take a look around and use it i really like this picture so i'll click this i'll click insert and as you can see we have our picture over here and you can also go on this section and change the way it is positioned on the screen to make it look a certain way okay this looks good and over here if you want to add an image description you can do that as well now the next thing is very important if you want your website to look nice and well branded and that is to set the color theme if you have a brand book already uh, existing you can take those colors and just plug them over here all right so i selected my color over here we are going for like a nice light pink color which is based on our brand guidelines and over here you can click paint your side if you want your website to look you know more like a, on a lighter side or like a colorful side or even like a darker side as well i'll stick to a lighter theme and over here we have the fonts section so i can go in and select the font based on my brand guidelines so i'll click mary's weather as the font we want to have for this website all right so the next thing i want to do is go to the buttons tab over here and i'll click this icon over here and as you can see we do have different button styles that we can choose and play around with to make your website look a bit more modern i really like the look of these rounded corners it looks soft subtle and it just looks a bit more trendier than the you know regular square box of buttons that you have so yeah this is my personal favorite you can also go for this one which is pretty cute but i like this one so i'll stick to this perfect so our theme looks good and for the settings section over here you can enter the basic information so things like your site name your business category uh, your address your phone number email and all of that fun stuff next if you want to add a social media link as well you can insert it over here so if you have an instagram page just type in the link over here and it will be connected to that account all right so now i'm gonna go in and click over here and let's say i want to adjust the way this text is positioned and i want to increase the size of a certain text so i can do that by scrolling this bar like that perfect and if you want to change the text you can type it in on this section and you can also change the alignment if you want them to be situated on the left hand corner or on the center i like in the center so i'll click done and then i can go in and change the text over here i typed in my text over here uh definitely do a better job than me this is just for tutorial purposes so i just put in some words and yeah you can just put that over here you can change the style of it so we have style one which is going to look something like this we got style two which is going to look something like that style three as well um, i actually like style three over here so i'll keep it that way now let's say if you want to add another section you can click add a section and when you do that over here on the right hand side you're going to see these pre-built 
templates that you can use. So for example, let's say I want to add my contact information and my contact us page. So I can select that. And over here, I do have access to different templates that I can use and just click add and insert it over here and then edit it and play around like that. Now we have the menu section over here. So you can go in, um, add your items. So let's say we are selling vanilla ice cream and I can change the text over here into what I want it to be. And then we have the subscribe us section. So similarly, you can go in and change the layout if you want it to look in a certain way. So let's say I don't really like the overall arrangement of this text and I wanna try something that looks like this. So I can just go in, click over here and make that change and click done. Once you make all the changes and design your website the way you like it, you can click preview and over here you're going to see a snapshot of how your website is looking right now on the search engine and you can also click over here and see how your website looks on the font screen since we didn't go ahead and buy that domain ice creams .shop, uh, we do have this ice cream shop as our domain right now but of course when you actually go in and pick that domain name make sure you integrate it with your website as well. I'll just click visit website because I want to see how it looks like and really, really cool actually. I uh, really like the way it looks. And GoDaddy is really cool in a way that it provides you a checklist that you can follow when setting up your marketing campaigns. So first thing that is very important to do is to complete the SEO for your website. And GoDaddy has these really beautiful templates that you can use to design your marketing email campaigns. You can scroll over here to take a look at different options that they have av available. Uh, let's say we really like this one. So I can go in and I can click over here to edit the subject line. I can add some text on this section. I can go over here and make changes to the logo, add a link to it. Uh, I can go over here if I want to replace this image. Okay, once you have input all the information, you'll click save and continue. And you're gonna get a preview of your email. And then over here, you can add email addresses of people you wanna reach out to. If you have a custom list, you can upload that as well and click next. So that's how you can send your email campaigns through GoDaddy as well. All right, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Um, this was like a quick tutorial on how you can use GoDaddy. There are a lot of things you can play around with it. So definitely go in, take a look, browse around. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video found this helpful please don't forget to hit the like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys in the next one till then take care bye now